Tonight, Palestinian authorities say the death toll from an attack on a Gaza hospital has risen to more than 470. Meanwhile, campaigners say a change to the way evidence is treated during rape trials will have a seismic effect on Scotland's justice system. And later, there ain't no party like an S-Club party. We meet the gang as they go back on tour. Welcome to the Nine. The US President Joe Biden has visited Israel as the fallout from last night's deadly hospital attack in Gaza continues. Nobody's taken responsibility for the explosion, which is thought to have killed hundreds of civilians. But Mr Biden says he believes Israel's claim that it was caused by a misfired Palestinian militant rocket. The blast in Gaza City came after an Israeli direction for civilians to move to the south of the territory. Palestinian authorities say it's the single deadliest incident since Israel launched a counter-offensive to the assault by Hamas, which killed around 1,400 of its citizens earlier this month. In one sign of progress today, Israel says it will not thwart the delivery of food, water and medicine from Egypt for civilians in Gaza, as long as this aid does not reach Hamas. Jeremy Bowen reports. Well, the Gaza hospital attack has added an extra layer of horror and complexity to a situation that few could see a peaceful solution to long before it happened. Frank Lewinstein is a diplomat who served at the highest level of American government and held the office of US Special Envoy for Middle East Peace for three years under President Barack Obama. A little earlier, I asked him whether the events of the last 24 hours had undermined Joe Biden's visit today most in real time on social media and the authenticity of the photos, videos and information shared is often difficult to substantiate. The BBC Verify team was launched earlier this year with the task of determining what's real and what's fake. World Affairs correspondent Caroline Hawley has taken a look at what we really know about the Gaza hospital attack. Parts of Angus and Aberdeenshire are facing a red weather warning amid forecasts of heavy rain and strong winds. There's potential for flooding and possibly risk to life tomorrow, Thursday and Friday. Let's chat to our weather presenter, Judith Ralston. Hello. Judith, good evening to you. How unusual then is this red warning? This is very rare. A red warning is very rare and the Met Office mean business. Monday, they were issued, there was an amber warning upgraded and that's a serious warning anyway. And the areas that will be affected will be the Angus area and into southern parts of Aberdeenshire. Time to get the sandbags out and mm -hmm. prepare for what comes. And I do think, take comfort, people, for 24 hours now. And that warning was out this morning, so I think Arwen, and that was 2021, almost to the, to the month. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's a, a, an absolute privilege to be able to do Absolutely. So you will be keeping us up to date Absolutely, tomorrow almost, and yeah. beyond. Yeah, keep keep tuned for now, podcast. thank you. And people should just stay tuned to BBC Scotland for the latest. Absolutely. Thank you. Now, Louise Hosey was out earlier today, today to see how the preparation... Some of the day's other news now in our new review says the number of mental health-related calls Police Scotland currently deal with is not sustainable. The body now, every council in Scotland should consider taking steps to ensure people with learning difficulties and autism are not hidden in plain sight. It comes from a review into the death of Margaret Fleming, who it said was invisible at the time she was murdered by her carers. Margaret was 19 when she was killed and her death was covered up for 17 years. Aileen Clark reports. Jacqueline Cahill, one of Margaret Fleming's teachers, ending that report by Aileen Clark. You're watching The Nine, still to come. Next tonight, the First Minister says the planned council tax freeze announced at the SNP's annual conference yesterday will be fully funded by the Scottish Government. They'd previously proposed raising council tax rates by as much as 22% for homes in higher bands. But local authorities said they weren't consulted before the announcement. Here's Councillor Shona Morrison, the President of COSLA. Well, in a statement, the First Minister Hamza Youssef said... Scotland goalkeeper mm. who's came from England. I'm claiming her as a long-lost relative. If she's good, I mean, if she's good, yes, we are. <laughs> I was pretty good myself back in the day. I bet. With a football. Mm. You too, thank, thank you. you. Now, it had us gripped. The Wagatha Christie case was the prime mystery of 2019. Now, Colleen Rooney has revealed more details of how she investigated a fellow wag, Rebecca Vardy. Well, one year on, Rooney has made a documentary about that time. She's been speaking to Emma Barnett on Radio 4's Women's Hour. 
Well, I watched that full interview, listened, sorry, to that full interview on Women's Hour on the radio this morning. And that revelation, really interesting, that Colleen Rooney said she would have been a journalist, she thinks, if she had gone on to do further she studies. She could have been on the sofa with us. She could yeah. have. And Wayne, she said, is a wannabe lawyer. Oh, interesting. So there you go. Well worth a listen in that. Uh, interesting to hear her side. Yeah, absolutely. For the first time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. OK, if you thought that was your pop culture fix for tonight, we're actually just getting the party started, aren't we, Laura? Remember this? Yeah, it's hard not to dance when that comes on, isn't it? You know, if there ain't no party like a nine Christmas party, you could also say, maybe. Uh, S Club are back to prove us wrong. Yes, five of the original members are taking to the stage in Glasgow as we speak. And Frankie Allen went along to meet them. There tonight is enjoying themselves. Yeah. I'm sure we can hear them from here. Uh, and you can see much more of that interview on the edit. Now, joining us now is the Hebridean baker, Koinick McLeod. McLeod? <laughs> I, really, I really messed that up. <laughs> Every year since his first in 2021. And to top that, he is also singing. I think, Anya, lovely to see you. Great Thank to you see for you coming Rose. in. We'll talk about the singing in a minute, but you have brought a, an amazing cake... Because well, that's what can, that, we can be influenced by cake, I should I'm, say. I'm glad, Absolutely. I'm glad you, well, it's a cake from... And actually, it's sort of... I love a kind of twist on a classic. So this is a Victorious with a cinnamon buttercream. So just nice. for extra Very autumn well. Very yeah, autumn yeah. And we've got a, a wee orchard. We live off-grid uh, in a wee hut uh, a few months a year. We've got a wee orchard. Years. Uh, that looks like something I could maybe achieve because yeah. it, it looks... Fairly simple, is it? It is. I mean, f for me, I'm not trying to make anybody into a Michelin star chef. My goal, I mean, I bake in again. Um, or I, I think with my... I was up two weeks ago and visiting the relatives, there was always good home baking oh. on offer to go with your tea. I hope you got a, a, some duff, some Cluty dumpling. Uh, I, your, I, I, brought, I might have brought back a black pudding. <laughs> oh, you did. What's about the mod? Because yeah. of course the mod in Paisley this week. It's mod week, which is obviously a, a, a huge week. There'll be nearly 2,000 singers and performers. Um, and there's quite a few competitors. One is my partner. Oh, that, that, could get, that could turn difficult. That, that could turn could. awkward. <laughs> that could. Yeah, a wee slice. That's a, that's a, that's a slab a of half. <laughs> you can actually <laughs> see that there is apple in that sponge. Yeah, it's not you? gorgeous. And I like this idea of using fruit that's in season and, and is there so yes, you know, it might be going harvest harvest time. Yeah. There, there is a great Thank saying in, in Gaelic about you. you know using and yeah. so we have lots of things kind of scurried away so been able to see anything else at the mod have you been as well as taking part yourself have you been mm. listening on the ladies competition today so it's quite emotional seeing your friends because it's, it's really really special I don't know there'll be lots of Kayleys through the winter up Absolutely. in the island Kayleys so. and Absolutely. cakes Kayleys yeah. and cakes Perfect. are we going to have you back this time next year and it turns out that you're you know winning at tap if, if, that's, <laughs> a, that's a show a idea pro, a program oh, yeah, idea right there thank you so there. much for coming in stay Good so we can see how very yeah. important weather Judith don't yeah. we uh, yes, certainly do. We have a red warning in force, as you know, which is uh, highly unusual. Mm. So it's I'm going to be heading to Angus myself tomorrow. So some good advice for people. Just stay yeah. tuned and make sure you're up to date. Very much so. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. We're a wee to eat. Oh, yes. Bye for now.